All right, guys, welcome back. And what I did is I saved you guys some time, and I already wrote the format or display for TCP and UDP. So again, all of this is the exact same as what we covered in the last video. Learning nothing new, so I went ahead and I did it already. If you want to change the display format, then what you can do is you can just go to my GitHub, like I said, and change it however you like. But now, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and test this out. So make sure that whenever you run this program, that you're running it as sudo. Because if you don't, then you're not going to have all the proper privileges. So again, save the script as whatever.py and run it as sudo. Or just open up PyCharm or whatever is sudo and you can run it straight up as here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And I'm going to go to my browser and just hit refresh and check it out and all right let's find something good all right how about all right this right here all right so right now we can see the way that i set up this display is we have different levels of indentation so we see that this entire thing is an ethernet frame now inside this ethernet frame is an ipv4 packet and inside your packet is actually a TCP segment. And this is gonna be a TCP segment most of the time because people just use the internet most of the time. And what I could actually do now that I think about it is I can actually move this over one indentation level, but I kinda of like the way it looks now. I mean, this is my pure ethernet info. This is my IPv4 packet info. And all of my other stuff is nice and neat. I think if I move it over too much, then you know too much is gonna go off the screen. And if you guys are wondering about that formatting um, function I made earlier, this is why I made it. Because our payload for our TCP data right here, which is usually like a HTTP request, we don't want all of this as one long string because look at it, it would be like three miles long <laughs> wide, should I say. So that way, whenever I formatted it as a bunch of new lines. It's a lot easier to read in my opinion. And there you go. So that is basically how you can use Python to set up a socket, capture data, and once you have data, you can go ahead and start analyzing it. Breaking it up, making sure that it's ethernet traffic, and then looking at what's inside, usually IPv4 data, and then you can look even further to dissect the different protocols, the ICMP traffic, the TCP traffic, UDP, tomato, tomato.